friends, I hope you're having a good week. We are in the book of John for Daily Dose this week. We're looking for courage and clarity in the book of John, where we look at five different introductions to the life of Jesus. There were more, but we chose five this week, five realities of who he was that blesses who we are, that reminds us that he's for us in this season. And so today we're going to be looking at Jesus, the Son of God. Now, you've heard that language. We all know that that's who Jesus was. But I want to present some ideas around him being a son uh, that my good friend Rory Dyer helped me with recently that remind us who we are as children of God. All right, so listen to this. The word became flesh, John 1, 14, and made his dwelling among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. It's introduced to us that Jesus, Jesus comes from the Father, which is to say, He's the son. But what's interesting is in 2 Corinthians, Paul speaks about the father of all compassion and comfort. So it's to say that when we see Jesus as the son, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the father except through me. So he's the son by which we access the father, right? But Jesus is telling us also that when we go through him to the father, we have what the father gives, which is the father of all compassion and comfort. My friend Rory Dyer was teaching about this idea of comfort, and it's so powerful. The word comfort means to bring close with words that exhort in a kind way. And so Jesus, as the Son of God, brings us close to the Father, right? Brings us close to the Father. We hear words that exhort us in a kind way. And Jesus is the Son, but He brings us to the Father of compassion and comfort. Friends, this week, may we, because of Jesus, know that we are with the Father of compassion and comfort who brings us close, gives us kind words in a kind way, exhorting words in a kind way. We are so good when we are with God. God, I thank you. Father, I thank you that because of your son, Jesus, we get to be close to you. Hear your words of life in the kindest way. As the world hurls insight, judges us with opinion, I thank you that your words breathe life, give life, and call us to life in Jesus' mighty name. So I just speak your life over every person that they would find themselves resting with you as their heavenly father because of your son, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you, friends. 